So, what exactly am I looking for, Cersei? Yeah, I'm honestly not sure, Pack. My sensor picked up a strange signal from space. And I was hoping your young eyes could discern what my creaking peepers cannot. Whoa, shooting star! Cosmic coolness! Make a wish, Pack Star! Okay, let's see. Oh, meteor! Take cover! <laughs> it's just a tiny firefly pack. Harmless. Oh, you got me, spark plug. <laughs> okay, back to work. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall for that again. Fetch the firefly, Fuzzbits! Oh, perhaps if I calibrate the framestad three degrees east and adjust the localizer a squint and a half. Oh, that's no firefly. That's not even a shooting star. It's a gargantuan ghosteroid! And it's on a collision course with our planet! <gasps> I'm afraid we're about to experience an extinction-level sliming. That was not what I wished for. The pack is back. Ghost chomping at his feet. Pack's our hero. Pack just can't be beat. Yeah! Pack's a yellow pack. He's green. He's a chowing down machine. Yo, monster goons. And only one can stop them. The pack is back. Goes chomping at his feet. Packs our hero. We pack just can't be beat. The pack is back. Oh, yes, you big, beautiful behemoth. Come to Papa. Oh, my plan is working perfectly. My mega magnetic attractivator is drawing the ghost droid toward Packford from the inky depths of space. Like a fly to honey, like a moth to a flame. Like okay, okay, I get it. The big dumb ghost loves the sound of your signal. So crank it up to 11 and reel in my catch. When the ghostoroid strikes Pathworld, it will slime the planet's surface and leave the netherworld in debt. Once the bat quakes, <laughs> giant slime tsunamis <laughs> and lightning storms abate. We can invade Topside, easily overcoming whatever resistance we encounter from the traumatized populace. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see the look on my pompous brother's presidential puss when he hears the news of his impending doom. <sighs> impending doom, you say? Afraid so. Complete and cataclysmic doom. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, cause that thing's still like a million miles away. So it won't get here for... How long, Cersei? Well, let me see. Uh, 14 to the power of pi and... Uh, no more than 21 minutes. Doom. We are so doomed. D to the oom. Doomed. Uh, I'm too young to be doomed. There must be something we can do. What if everybody on the planet ate bean sandwiches at the same time? Then we all fart in the same direction. That would change the planet's orbit and dodge the ghost droid, right? Uh, no offense, Spyro, but that idea stinks. Okay, what if we paint the entire planet black so we blend into the background of space and the ghost droid wouldn't be able to see us when it passes? Your idea has merit, Cylindria, but there is regrettably not enough pigment on Packworld to paint the planet. Now, I could conceivably create a black hole generator that would swallow the ghostoroid, but it would also swallow Packworld, the rest of our solar system, and eventually the entire universe. That thing's just a ginormous ghost. Too bad I'm not big enough to swallow it. Hee-hee, <laughs> Pack, my lad, you are a genius! Top it off, Grinder. I don't want to be running on empty when I'm half a million miles from home. 
Gluttonous gearbox! I told you that rocket fuel is too rich for your system! Now, I've been running DNA tests on certain power berries, and this one is exactly what you'll need. When the time is right, gobble it down. <laughs> you'll know what to do, my boy. Grinder will navigate you through the perils of space and get you safely to the ghost droid. I hope... I wish we could go with you, Pac. As do I, but there isn't room in the lemon rocket for you, too. However, I have every confidence I will have the Packercini space-worthy and ready to launch in case things go horribly, horribly wrong. Well, that makes me feel better. Oh, you'll save the day, my lad. You always do. Ready to launch, Solyndra? Countdown, please. Three, two, one, liftoff! <clears throat> Cringing citizens of Packworld, greetings from your new ruler. No, no, not quite right. Mm, maybe something like, Hi, my name's Petraeus, and I'll be your dictator today. No, uh, too chipper. Maybe something more forceful. On your knees, you pathetic, quivering land maggot. Kneel before your leader and kiss the scorched soil beneath his scart. Ooh, I rather like that last one. Butler! Where is my celebratory beverage, you incompetent bubble brain? All this crewing has given me gloat throat. Ah, refreshing slug juice. Thick, chunky, and bitter. Just like you, butler. What are you staring at, you cheeky geek? I'm no math whiz, sir, but I'm fairly certain that one plus one does not equal Three. Well, let's see. Uh, one plus another one equals uh, um, two. Uh, one plus one equals two. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, revised calculations indicate that if the ghost droid continues, the force of its impact will not only destroy Packworld, but the Netherworld as well. What? Uh, sorry about the arithmetic error. <laughs> I blame our schools. Oh, Joy, we are doomed to. So, you're telling me that ghost droid is going to suffocate us with slime, too? Uh, looks that way. <laughs> We have to destroy your miserable mega magnetic attractivator before the ghost droid destroys us! <laughs> there! I've. I've. saved us! All! Wrong! Until you destroyed my machine, it would have been a simple matter of reversing the attractivator's signal and sending the ghost droid into infinity and beyond. Now there's nothing to stop the behemoth from continuing its course and annihilating everything in its path. Uh, nothing except perhaps one bright yellow ghost gobbler? You are telling me I have to hope that the pack pest succeeds in foiling my plan? I thought you might get a little hungry on your journey, so I've stocked the rocket with nutritious space food. Cool! Used judiciously, this should be six months' supply of emergency rations. Awesome! Huh? If we want to destroy the Pac-Man in the future, we need to help him succeed in the present. Distasteful as that may be. Distasteful? I'd rather wait on you twin hineys than have to swallow this! Oh, face it, the little glutton has an exceptionally horned survival skill. But perhaps it wouldn't hurt to send him some help. Uh. I'll put my best ghosts on it! Huh? Well, at least the ones I'll miss the least if something goes wrong. Aww. Oh, that is 
is one big blue mountain of ectoplasm barreling down on the Pac-Man's tiny little rocket. <gasps> My poor brave Pac-Ums. Yes, and I need you ghosts to make sure that... that... that the Pac-Brat... Sir... Sir... Oh. Survives? <laughs> I can't believe you're making me root for that icky eyeball belcher. I'm sure it makes you as sick to cheer for that lemon louse as it does to me, but sacrifices must be made. <laughs> if we gotta cheer, we gotta cheer. Who's that fellow with the poster boy? Batman Yellow, get the poster boy! Stop! 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 Let's not go overboard here. I said root for Pac-Man, not... Root for Pac-Man! This is my worst nightmare made real. <sighs> Time to gobble Cersei's special power berry. Aw, oh, man! <sighs> I am seriously missing gravity right now. Oh, pull harder, you overgrown squid! Oh, oh, I think I just wrenched a tentacle. Ow, ow. Somehow I don't think this is the safest way to travel. Your safety is not my concern. You're just concerned about the Pac-Man's well-being, Cole. Yes! I missed that. A little louder, please. Yes! Go help that pack rat! Keep him safe long enough to save us from that ghost droid! Do it! We have liftoff! Talk about a needle in a haystack! Or slime stack! Or whatever! Baseline. Mm, not bad. Uh oh, looks like he woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Whoa, cosmic bad breath. Okay, Pinky. Thanks for the assist, guys. No sweat, Lemonhead. Betraya sent us to help you. Because if you do not stop this elephantine ghost droid, the netherworld is toast, too. You want to help? I can handle these creeps easy, but I lost a berry I gotta find somewhere in that slime field. The day I can't tell a berry from a booger is the day I hang it up. You just go gobble those goblins, Packums. We'll find your missing power berry. Time to eat ETs. Uh, nope. That's not it. Definitely slime. And bingo! <laughs> See? Told you I'd find it. Yo, Blinky, get this bad berry down court! Heads up, big guy! We're coming back! Go! Go, Pac-Man! Okay, this is big! Make that supersized! Good news! You're nothing more than a snack for me now! Bad news? I'm hungry enough to eat an entire planet! Cause I am an entire planet! Time to bite this satellite! on every frequency. The entire world is watching you, Planet Pack. I 
rooting for my most loathsome enemy. I feel very conflicted about this. I think I may be losing it. Oh, perhaps a nappy nap with Mr. Snuffle Bunny Kittens. Oh, yes! Oh. Come help Daddy Cakes not gag watching the pack flip save the world! Down the back hatch! Whoa, dude! You are one mega mouthful of rampaging planetoid! Group hug! Why not? <laughs> oh, because you're squeezing the... <laughs> Squeaker! Out of me! <laughs> SPD. Mm. <laughs> Exotic alien flavor! Messy, too! <laughs> the table manners of Planet Porker. Uh. <sighs> okay, that's kind of tough to love. <gasps> gotcha! <laughs> uh. It's all right. The Baxter saves the day again. Oh, I'm so happy I can kiss you. Okay, dude, I get it. But tone it down a notch. Well done, young Pac-Man. Well done indeed. Thanks, circumference. But I couldn't have done it without these four brave ghosts. Now's our chance to thank Lord Bossy for launching us into space. That's because Lord Betrayus was behind Pac one million percent. There isn't a bigger Pac backer on or under Pac World than my boss. Let's all give a big cheer for Betrayus! Lord Betrayus, Pac Man! Lord Betrayus, Pac Man! Is this some sort of punishment? What did I ever do to the universe to make it hate me so? This is the worst day of my afterlife! And it's all your fault! Believe me, I will make you pay through eternity! Give me a minute for this berry to wear off, and I'll hop in the lemon rocket and head home! Just a minute! Or two... Or twenty! Cersei! When's this berry wearing off? Yo, oh, I'm baffled, lad. You seem to be stuck at planetary proportions. Jacoon to Palmer! I've got a galactic size appetite, but there's nothing to eat for light years! All right, uh, plan B. Young Pac saved the world, uh, now it's time to help him! The Packer Chini is ready for space travel! This shrink berry should return your planet sized pal to his normal proportions. Sweet! Pac's gonna be starving! He hasn't eaten in like seven minutes! Next stop, Planet Pack! All right, we'll try... Oh, I'm afraid you're better at destroying my inventions than I am at preparing them. I'd rather cause another ghost steroid to crash into Pack World and end my shame than exist but another day being hailed as a Pac-Man fan! <coughs> Your brother, the president, is on line three again. He wants to know if you'll be able to make it over for Peck's giving day dinner. <laughs> Fix that attractivator! <laughs> <sighs> this is boring. Got any eights? Goldfish! <sighs> hey! Hi, guys! Thanks for coming! I sure could use a little company. And, uh... Lot of lunch? Got them both, bro! Let's land on Pac's giant schnozzola! Aye, aye, Captain! Wow! Pac's big enough to have his own atmosphere! Man, if this mountain is the Paxter's nose, I hate to even think about what his giant-sized boogers look like! Ugh, no! I don't want to think about that either! 
Oh, what was it you were saying about lunch? Sandwiches coming right up. Six dozen. And a shrink berry for dessert. Sounds backalicious! That hit the spot. Ready to shrink pack? Am I ever? Whoa! Going down! Pack! You're not big enough to hold an atmosphere anymore! Then we better hold our breath! Oh dear! Nothing worse than trying to breathe when there isn't any oxygen. Caught you guys a right hook! Thanks, dude. <sighs> uh, but what about you? How will you get through Pack World's fiery atmosphere? Chill, guys! Oh, everything's cool! Once again, you have saved the world. I'm running out of medals to pin on you, Pack. Thanks, Mr. President. But I couldn't have done it without a lot of help from my friends. Yes, well, excellent work, young heroes. I'm proud as Pack Punch of you all. But I can't shake the feeling that I've forgotten something.